Hi, today I want to show you how you can create loading animations just like this that are targeted to the requests that you're running so that basically while your request runs you're going to see the loader animation and the moment your request finishes the loader animation is removed and the content is being shown. And the wonderful thing about this is we can do this without using any custom code and without using any actions. You don't have to configure this in WIST. You can use WIST's new feature, which is a bit like WIST Cloak, which is called WIST Loader. This enables you to dynamically add loading animations without any code directly inside of Webflow custom attributes using the WIST embed that you already have added on your page. So this is really exciting and let's get started with the setup. So what you want to do is you want to just do your render list or your content set as you would do before but with only one little difference. You are just of course as always going to apply WIST cloak on your template element. So if I'm going to render this list here, we will know that there is a little time delay as we render those items. So I want to add WIST cloak on here and I want to add WIST cloak display none. That is the WIST cloak part. It works best with WIST cloak. But now here comes the new part. I have my div block that will be a loader and I am just going to add not WIST cloak but I'm going to add WIST loader and they will be working hand in hand together. So I'll be adding WIST loader. Now the thing is whatever action is tied to rendering this list, this is where I want to base my loader, WIST loader value on. So in our example, if I'm going to go to my render list, we will see that this is based on the transactions. So I have my request in here called transactions. I want to copy that name for my request for transactions and I'm just simply going to add the value in here for transactions. So this needs to be tied to the request you want to look out for because this loader will be shown as long as this request of transaction in this example is loading. Uh, I can even show you like a live example here. As you can see this request is loading and now it stopped and now the loader disappeared. So that loader is tied to the request that you're going to run in WIST. And you're just going to add the value for your request in here. And now you want to add a little bit of helper CSS. So you want to add, like we did with WIST cloak, you want to add the attribute for WIST loader. You want to open close curly brace. You want to write display and you want to do flex because we want to have this as a flex box because it will be centered like this and now if I were to publish this here we will see that some little thing will occur and this is why we have to um, set the display to none in the editor right after this. Now if this is going to load and it's going to work perfectly but if I scroll down we still see the loader. So in order to prevent that I just need to go to this loader element on which we have WIST loader um, applied for our transactions request and I'm simply going to do display none just like that. And now I'm going to publish this on my site and the moment this is published as you can see if I'm going to reload this we were, we're going to see the loader as long as the request runs and now when the request finished we're going to see our list items and if I'm going to scroll down you will see that there are absolutely no loader parts left in that list and this is how you're going to create a dynamic loader. Now we can even do another experiment w because it works better with WIST cloak ideally because if I now were to add or not add if I were to remove the WIST cloak attribute just like that on those template elements here on those ones, um, the loader will be still there but we will have content flashing as you can see here we have like a little bit of flashing. So combining this together with WIST cloak on top of the content elements that are going to be rendered or uh, set 
using visibility later on in WIST is the NUN Plus Ultra. It, they work better together. So that's why I'm saying WIST Cloak and WIST Loader are just like that. They're best buddies for life. And Combining them together will create this wonderful, interactive, and high-quality experiences, web app experiences, that you can now do without using any actions and without writing any code, just in Webflow. Isn't that amazing? So, yeah, I hope that you learned something new from this video and that you're going to use Wist Loader for everything basically that's going to be rendered dynamically uh, because it will just level up the whole experience of all the things that you're going to build with WIST. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your time. And let me know if you knew about this feature already in the comments down below. And yeah, just thank you so much and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.